So, <clears throat> this is going to be the spoiler-free review of Avengers Infinity War. And I first have to say I apologize for not posting this sooner. Um, we saw the movie for early Friday morning, uh, 1 o'clock to be exact, uh, Eastern Time. And we didn't get home till 5 in the morning. And, you know, being of a person of my age, staying out late, that late is just not yeah, you know, good for me. And so basically all day Friday I was just out of sync. And then um, you know, I finally got to put something together uh today, which is, you know, a much longer. But that's just me. I'll make sure to get get these out better in the future. But I have to say, without a doubt, that this was an incredibly uh epic movie. I recommend anybody out there who is either a a movie fan, a superhero fan, a Marvel fan, and even if you're a diehard fan of the DCEU, go see this movie. Uh, this is the kind of movie that uh, makes going to the movies worthwhile. Um, and the reason why I say that is, you know, we went to the theater it was a packed house, uh, even at one in the morning. You know, when things happened that were funny, people laughed. When people saw things that, you know, were clap worthy, they clapped. Uh, for example, and this is not a spoiler, we saw Stan Lee in his quick cameo, and people clapped when they saw him. Uh, like I said, that's not a spoiler. He's in every movie, so that's how it is. And <clears throat> it's it was a very good movie. Um, at the end, uh, everybody was still in their seats. I mean, it was very, very, very well done. Um, and that's what movies are for. You're, and one, once it was over, people could not stop talking about it. Uh, just do. Everybody had a different emotional reaction. Uh, I myself liked it. Um, my nephew uh, did not like it because of uh, what happened. Uh, my son, he was indifferent, uh, but everybody had an opinion, and everybody kind of had a strong opinion. And uh, funny thing is, as we were entering the theater, uh, there was a group of people out in the foyer, and they were all talking very, very passionately about the movie from the different things that happened and the different events. And so that's the things I like to see when it comes to a movie, because a lot of times, you know, you see a movie... You sit there for an hour and a half, two hours, you leave, and you say, okay, I liked it, or I did not like it, and then, you know, you talk about it for a few minutes, and then you're done. Uh, I firmly believe that The Avengers Infinity War is a movie that you could probably talk about it for quite a while, um, and it's a movie that I could probably see several times and pick up different things every single time. Uh, so, that that is my overall synopsis of my feelings of the movie it was very good very well directed uh, just to give a quick plot synopsis without going too you know, in, too deep into it obviously thanos is his job is to collect the infinity stones and they're located all around the universe so he <clears throat> uh, does his search along with his minions and obviously if you've seen the previous movie some of the Infinity Stones are on Earth, some are on other planets, and so everybody has to go do their thing. Uh, Thor, uh, you know, from the events from Thor Ragnarok, uh, he has to go uh, and try his best to stop Thanos. Iron Man, Spider-Man, you know, Doctor Strange, uh, they all have to do their uh, jobs to try and stop Thanos. We also see Captain America, um, Black Widow, Black Panther, and they all do their parts to try and stop uh, Thanos. That's all in the preview, so I'm not saying anything uh, new out of the ordinary. There is a surprise cameo uh, in the movie, and I have to give uh, the writers and the directors uh, props because for me, you know, having watched all the movies, I I always thought this was a plot point that kind of slipped by, but they brought it back and they kind of closed the door on that one. I was like, okay, that is pretty cool. Um, so, all in all, uh, it's it's a very good movie. Um, in fact, I'm going to be posting a uh, discussion with another YouTuber. Um, 
if you hadn't heard of him, his name is Murder Muffin, and we're going to talk about it. And we actually uh, had a nice long discussion uh, on the movie, and it went over an hour. Uh, I don't think what I'm going to post is going to be as long, uh, but we could have easily talked about it for much longer. Uh, so that goes to show just how well that movie is. And I'm also hoping um, not only do you uh, listen to this particular spoiler-free review, but after you see the movie, listen to the discussion uh, that is going to that we're going to have. And I'm hoping that if we, that discussion is viewed well and you guys like it, uh, we will have future discussions on future movies. And I'm hoping that maybe we'll do live broadcasts on YouTube. So look forward to that and please give it a listen to it. But please only do it after seeing the movie. Uh, it's going to be spoiler full. Uh, it's, I mean, we're going to basically talk all parts of the movie. So if you want to know nothing about the movie, don't listen to the, to the uh, discussion. Anyway, and there's a possibility that we, I might post another discussion. Uh, my wife just saw it, and she immediately called me um, with her emotional response. And uh, that could be a, a whole nother uh, level of discussion there. So that's uh, I think that proves my whole point about this movie, that uh, it, it creates a strong emotional response. And that's what movies are for. Not every movie has to do it, obviously. I mean, if you're going to have a silly movie, a comedy, or whatever, you go there and laugh, haha. But if you're going to have a movie like this, this is how you do it. They did it right. Star Wars Episode Eight, they screwed it up, and everybody hates it. That's a strong reaction, but a lot of times it was, it was very negative and very divisive. That's not what you want. You want a movie that uh, does this well. Anyway, that's it for me for now. If you liked the movie, uh, post it in the comments below. If you disliked the movie, post it in the comments below. If you liked my review, hit that like button. If you want to hear more or uh, be notified of more of my particular uh, rants and ravings when it comes to TV and movies, hit that subscribe button. You can also hit that notification bell as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, and I'm pretty much sure that every time I post anything, it shows up on Twitter. So that right there is probably your best bet that's it for me for now like i said i'll be posting uh, my discussion with uh, murder muffin uh pretty soon probably uh if not tonight first thing tomorrow morning after i do some edits so anyway that's it for me talk to you later peace